Hi, I'm Mary Mary. Today is March 30th, 2012, and today we're going to put on the new caliper bracket. This here's what our new one looks like. That's cheating. That's not cheating, that's my friend. Okay, what do you got there? I've got a Dewalt Impact. Okay, that that's really good if people don't have uh, an air compressor. That puts out 345 foot-pounds of torque. We had a Chicago Electric or whatever they are. I would not suggest them. Uh, we used it, what, probably about 12 times, and it literally broke, I mean, broke the uh, shaft of the motor right off from it. So, uh, we picked this one here up for, I think, 199 over at Home Depot. And Mary's been beating the hell out of it ever since. Uh, she likes that better than what she does the air one. Okay, now you want to make sure your truck is jacked up. And it's on a jack stand, which it is. And... As you can tell, it's nice and sturdy. Okay, now we remove the lug nuts. Okay, now for the fun part, to actually take the tire off. And since we got the bigger tires now, I have a little bit of trouble. But I manage. Gosh, you're right. Probably not the best way to do it, but... It works for me. Oop. Don't lift them too many times. Okay. What are we going to do first? We are going to remove the old caliper bracket. You're going to remove the caliper bracket first? Well, i got to remove the caliper itself first. You're okay. You can still do it. Here, hold that on there and I'll show you a little trick here. Okay, since you got to have more leverage, put that on like that. Pull that that way. Yeah, right. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> yep, make sure that's set for off. Just hold it in your hand and turn it. Yes, that's set for off. Mary seems to be fighting with tools today. <laughs> A little harder than what you thought. That one there's not going to be. I already loosened it. Okay, okay. Mary, stand your ratchet up. Yep, take it off. There you go. Turn it a little bit until it goes on. You hold right here. Like this. Did Mary get a boo-boo? It's loose. Should be able to do it by either hand or a wrench. Oh. Okay. Look what I see. I have no idea. I don't know if they can see it or not. This has been twisted. Blind. So when we take that off, we'll have to uh, straighten it and look it, look, uh, look it over and everything. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it right here where it's twisted. Okay, what's the next size you need, Mary? Where's your screwdriver? Yep, yep. I'll pry it back. I don't dare to. You don't dare to? Why? Easy. Okay, you can come down on the bottom and do the same thing. Yep, there you go. Alright, now go back up to the top and do it. 
I don't let it drop. If you, you can stick it right in there too. There you go. You want to tie that up. Tie it up how? Well. Okay, after you remove the caliper, you have access to your brakes. And as you can tell, ours still has quite a bit of meat. There's our new shocks. They're already muddy. Somebody went playing in the mud. Where's the other two bolts, Mayor? I don't know. Yep. Right here and right here. Nope. Right here and right here. No. Right here and right Up here. Up there, yes. No should be a 15. You didn't bring the 15 over. Right in the WD-40. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. Are you getting it or is it slipping? Yep. All right, hang on. Maybe. What it is is they got a uh, thread lock on them, and it's the red, of course. And you got to break that free. Of course, these are torqued to 85 foot pounds. Painted person to put these on. Can't see. Oh, I'm trying to get it. Man. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, I think everybody that's worked on anything has always said that I can't do it. I'm not left-handed or I'm not right-handed or. Oh yeah. See those? We got yep. new ones of them too. You can see the uh, the red uh, lock thread that they put on. You always hang on the bolts and stuff though. Okay, so do it by hand. If, right. if it doesn't, wiggle the bracket itself. If it doesn't come out. Hey. See? You said all the pieces. Okay, there's the old caliper bracket. Yep, what you want to do is these make, off. Sure, make sure that they're the same. They look it. Okay, you pluck these old hardwares off. Yeah, because we got to take the old one, the old uh, brackets in for our core charge. And you pluck these off. This is the fun part. Pluck. You. Pluck. <laughs> Do that on this side too. Ready? Pluck. I don't think I got it.
Okay, in case anyone cares, I watch Eric the car guy because he says to stay dirty. I think I made it. I made dirty. And my friend Pete says, you can do it. And guess what? I can do it. Okay, now what are we doing? Oh, I gotta put the new stuff on. We got pretty green ultra disc caliper lube. It's a very pretty color. I don't think it's picking. Oh, there you go. It's nasty. It's what it is. Anyone want to taste? That we're going to use on the bolt. Okay. And of course my anti-seize. You know, I tell you to use anti-seize and, and you got the thing that anti-seize is always your friend. However, there is a case that uh, too much is more than enough. Okay, what you doing with those? Taking them out of the packaging. Okay. Call the local AutoZone to get new pins. Caliper pin guide things. And the kid asked me what side I wanted. I said I didn't realize it was a left or right thing. He says, yeah, they got a left side and a right side. I said, well, they need it for both. We'll come to find out they're the same number. Same thing, same everything. So, obviously, they're not side specific. Okay. You gonna put that together now? You can. I don't want that stuff all over me. Okay. What I'm gonna do with this stuff, the caliper lube. I've done the other side and that's some sticky shit. I'm gonna stick it in my hair. Put a little bit on this. Yep, put it put it on there nice and liberal. Yep. Yeah. Right, get mom the grease rag that's over there. You want to put it right up to the front too, right up to the very front. Yep, right, right in there. That way your boots got something to uh, slide up on. If I'm shaking today, guys, sorry, but I don't know what's going on, but. I have I have uh, diabetes and I've been shaking all day. You gonna put your boot on first? I don't know. I don't know where the boot went. Oh, it's over here. It's over here. New boots. Ooh. Yeah. Just set it down right there for a while. Yep. Make sure it's all the way up. Slide it all the way up. All the way up. There you go. Make sure the other side went. <laughs> <laughs> That's some gooey shit, isn't it? Slide this in here. Yep, that worked. Oh, wait a minute. See how this is like that? Yep, go ahead and push that on. Yep, make sure it's sealed all the way around. Yep, it feels like it did. Okay, if Mary if Mary watches Eric the Car Guy and uh, my friend Pete, that's got to be saying something. I've been wondering where the hell she's been coming up with the knowledge, and apparently uh, she likes YouTube quite a bit. But that's good. I mean, right, I think I think every female should at least uh, have knowledge to uh, put gas in the car. Remember that one girl? Yeah, didn't even know how. To... Yeah, the poor girl didn't even know how to put gas in her own vehicle, and everybody sat there laughing at her. She didn't even know where the gas thing was. Gas gate filler. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yep, give her a nice liberal coat. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, this could make a pretty nail polish. Yep, spread it out pretty good. Yep, just real quick coat is all you need. Make sure it's on there, liberal. Yep, slide it all the way up in place. Make sure the other side went, yep, nice. Yep, you want this pointed the same direction as this one. There, snap in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, now, if you want, what I usually do is I usually take some more of the uh, the brake loop and I just put a thin coat onto these, just to help them from rotting. That's synthetic uh, brake lube, brake and caliper lube. So, 
According to the company, it won't eat the rubber because it's synthetic. How true that is, I have no clue. You ain't gonna put it on really thick, just a nice little thin coat. Try not to get any, any into these holes because uh, your caliper bolts have got Loctite on them. I didn't. And of course it's red again. Okay. Those my are, new yep, those are kind of tricky. Bracket pieces. No, those are for your brakes. Those are the shims. let go right in here. Maybe. Yep. And then you just press down. Ready? You gotta press right here on this. I'm not left handed, so. Hmm. You get that a lot around here. Ouch. Watch that lug nut. Gotta bite that. The what? <laughs> or the lug. <laughs> you mean the stud? There you go. Okay. Make sure they're on. Yep. Yep. You're good to go. Okay, now let's see if I remember how they go on. Just this way? No. Dum dum. They go this way. Oh, your bolts have to go on the back. Uh oh. Nope, it goes on the inside. On the, nope. <laughs> yep, yep, nope. Bring it back towards you. Yep, there you go. Ouch. Okay, where's your new bolt at? It'll go, it'll line up. Stay there. It's kind of hard with you bobbing your head around to get it in the camera here. Okay, here's my new caliper bolts. Caliper bracket bolts. What are these supposed to be torqued to? 21 to 27. No. 85. 85. These are 85. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where a good spot is for me to be, so. Start it. Yep. Nice. Okay, go to your top one. Hold on. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm small. I can sit right under here. Yep. Just wiggle your bracket while turn while trying to turn it. There you go. Okay. Now just finish it off with the ratchet. Ratchet. Just snug it up, and then you you'll need the. Uh... You. Okay, I got to switch positions. Okay, let's see what we're set here to. No. Looks like 86. It's supposed to be 85, but I allow a little bit for the adapter. At least one pound. <laughs> Snug. Okay. And it up there. Yep. 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 Yep
snug. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to the torque wrench. I already set that for you. So <laughs> you're all good to go. I guess it helps if you hook the socket up to the torque wrench, not the ratchet. Yeah, you're going to have to watch the inside there. Okay, just push down on it until it clicks. Go up again with it. <laughs> Five foot pounds is a little more than what she thought. You gotta push straight down on it. Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. That was that was mm. the click that you were listening for. You might have to go down and then come back up with it a couple times. All right, come on. Go back up with it if you need to. I did. Ready? Go. There There's go. your 85. <laughs> okay, I'm done for the week. 85 foot pounds is a little more than what you bargained for, huh? Yeah. Okay. Now that I got the new caliper bracket on. Yep, you're going to need that. Not for there, though. Nope, you're missing something. I'm missing something. Yeah, your favorite lube. Where does this go? Okay, let me see it and I'll show you. Just hold it and open it up for me. Yeah, you definitely don't want that globbed. Just remember, you know how you say it's always your friend and glob it on? Not this time. Okay. Very, very little. Don't worry about that. Very little. Right here. Right here. And, and the then, same on the other side? And then, yep, just a little bit. No, a little more than that. There you go. That's all you need. When they slide in, they'll catch it. Try not to get that on the rotor. Okay. Good. Okay. And all my brakes. Yep. Okay. I see a lot of people saying that these don't matter how you put them back in, but I'm I'm one that puts them back on in the same place. You can tell where the uh, pistons were. I always try to put them back on the same way, anyhow. I mean, I don't I don't know what the difference is if there's any at all, but okay. Try not to get no grease in your hands and touch the brake pads themselves. The friction material. Ouch. Ouch. Did it go in? There's that one. Okay. I always put the bottom in first. There's that one. Yep. Now comes the time for the caliper. Yep, you're gonna need that. New brackets for the caliper. Here, let me hold that because you're gonna have to put that on your knee. We didn't wire that up because it just sat it right up there nicely. I had to use a screwdriver on the other one. It's almost time for new uh, new calipers. There you go. That'll be 85 bucks. See, see these? You want to get right under them. Yep. From the front though. We're there. Yep. I know it's a bitch trying to hold that, isn't it? Yeah, it gets heavy after a little bit. Oh, right, right out. I'm trying. And because we didn't uh, put new brakes or anything on, we shouldn't have to move the uh, pistons. I didn't on the other side. Put it up in under the lip of it, hon, and twist it. 
No, the other one. The center one right here. On right here, though. See how they're... See how they're... Bent? There you go. I thought down there with like the other one. Like I said, ones. guys, sorry for the shaking here, but... Okay, and then this one just... We got a tripod. It's just with her bobbing her head around. Yep, you want to make sure that those are under the pistons. Oh, oh wait, wait. Here, use some brake lube. I don't it, want that sticky put, stuff. Put it right there where it sets. Scrape some of that off. Yeah. Scrape a lot of that off. That's good. Right here? Right there where it sets. Right. No, right here, hon. Right there and over there. See it? Where it's indented? I don't know if they'll be able to see it or not. Yep, okay. Do the same thing over there. Yep. Get off it. There we go. Okay. Yep, don't don't close it because you're gonna need it again. Okay, now we gotta fight with this thing to get it back in there. Yep. And fight you well, trust me. Under the piston. No, let me see this side. You should be able to. Oh, that side over there, come on. I can't do it left handed. But what you gotta do is you gotta press right here and go forward with it. Ready? Go. There, we got it. I am not left handed. Okay. No, oh, wait a minute. There you go. Um, now, what I usually do, Mayor, is get your goopy stuff there. Yep, scrape a lot of that back off. Gosh. I don't know if this is necessary or not, but I do it. Okay. Color now, go right this. across this, and this is that rubber here that. Eventually, we will be replacing when we rebuild them. Yep, put it right, right here too, because this here rides on a brake pad. And the less squeals, the better. Come on, we like it to go. No. See, I didn't have all this grease and stuff when I had done the back brakes. But like I said, we're getting it ready for inspection, and I, I kind of figured we're going to run out of time and. So I was just in a hurry to get the shocks and everything on. Got the rear brakes on. Of course, Monday we go for the inspection. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta do a perfect job. Just slather some on. Okay. Yep, just flip it over. Watch that brake line. It twisted. Nope, go the other way with it then. Okay, I'll hold it for you. Okay, you got it? <clears throat> twisted that way. Either way, it's going to twist. By the looks of it. Mm. Whoever installed it apparently didn't think about that. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. <laughs> All right, what you can do is take a little bit of your uh, grease, put it right here where that slides. I mean, I know it's got a shim there, but not that much. <laughs> yep, put it right there, right there, and just a little bit up there. Yep, right there where it rubs. Yep. See, that's what you don't want. All right, turn it back the other way. Okay. Yep, you can push that right out there. And hold it while you're turning the bolt in. There's a catcher that it'll catch on.
Okay, snug those up. And we're going to go to the torque wrench. Which should be set to... 26. Yep, you're going to have to remember... Go down with it. There you go, that's 26. There you go. That's that. Okay. Now I gotta go straighten the wheel up. Put the tire back on. Okay, now remember, you put them on in a star. Okay, now the tires get torqued to 100 foot-pounds. That's a hundred, so you're going to lean right into it. Okay, there you go. That's one. There we go. Brake caliper bracket is done. That's a lot of work. But later, I probably not today, but tomorrow morning after I get out of work, I'll be doing the back brakes, showing you guys how to do them. Yeah, if it's nice out. Yep. Other than that, that's it for today. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.